Hello guys, in today's tutorial, I will show you how you can create this cool zoom or 3D parallax effect, where it looks like the country labels are suspended above in the air while the main map is below, kind of like a cloud above ground. This video is from one of my favorite documentary channels on YouTube, Johnny Harris's video, Your Olive Oil Is Probably a Lie. This edit at first glance looks kind of complex, but it is actually really easy to create and you can use this technique to create a lot of cool animation styles. So without wasting much time, let's get into it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. So to recreate this edit, the first thing we're going to need is a map. Not just any map, but a vectorized map. As we go forward into the edit, you will see why we need a vector map and not a PNG or JPG map. If you want to use the exact map Johnny Harris used in his video, you can find it at iStockPhotos.com for this price. But for us, small-time YouTubers who don't have the budget, we will be using FreePick.com. FreePick is a lifesaver. They have tons of free stock photos, videos, icons, and more. So because of this, when I have the budget to buy, I subscribe to the FreePick plan. Their pricing is actually very pocket-friendly. So thank you, FreePick. Thank you. In the search bar type, world map. And from the search result, find the one you like. If you see a crown icon on any of the images, that means you need to be a subscriber to use that image. So let's find something free. This one right here looks good, so I will go ahead and download this one. Click on the image to open up, click on download, then select free download. Is done downloading, go to the folder where you saved it. Press Control, Shift, and letter N to create a new folder. Rename the folder, then click enter. Drag the zipped map into the folder, open the folder, right-click on the zip file, and click on Extract here. After it is done extracting, you will find the free and premium license, the Adobe Illustrator file format, an EPS file, and a JPG file. Go ahead and double-click on the AI file to open it up in Adobe Illustrator. Once it is open in Adobe Illustrator, the first thing we are going to do is to delete this logo down here and that will be the first layer. So click on it and go down that tab and select the delete icon. The next thing we are going to do is to delete this map title. To delete this go to the object layer, click on the object dropdown and find the title by clicking on this I symbol here that lets you turn on or off each layer. So select the layer containing the title and delete it. After that, the next thing we are going to do is to separate the country labels from the map. To this, go down to the bottom of that tab click on the plus sign to create a new layer, double click on the layer to rename it. After that, go to the object layer, hold shift, and click on the first layer, then scroll down to the last layer with the last country label and click on it to highlight everything, then drag it to the new label layer we just created. Next, scroll down to the last path in the object and layer, click on it, and delete it. This layer is the map background layer, which we don't need. And also, delete the background layer. Now we have two layers, the label and the map. The next thing we are going to do is to go to the artboard and click on this icon to open this tab. Let's make the width 1920 and the height 1080. We are choosing this resolution because that will also be the size of our resolution in After Effects. Next, select everything and resize it to fit the resolution. Next, click on OK, then press Ctrl S to save our changes. After this, open up your After Effects, select New Project, and click on New Composition, set the width to 1920 and height to 1080, set the frame rate to 24 frames, the duration to 20s, and the color to black. The first thing we're going to do is to import the AI file we just edited into After Effect. Press Ctrl and the letter I to import, select the AI file, set the Import Kind to Composition, and the footage dimensions to layer size. After that, drag the map composition into your timeline, then double-click on it to open the composition.
First, right click on the timeline and select new, then click on solid, make sure the solid is the same size as our resolution, and make the color white. Then drag the solid under both layers. Next, we are going to make the two layer 3D. To make them 3D, click under this box symbol here, and if you can't see it, click on these switches and modes to reveal the icon. After selecting and making them 3D, go up to layers, hover over new, and click on camera to create a virtual camera, set the camera type to one node, set the preset to 20 millimeters, and leave the rest of the settings as it is. Then click OK. Next, go to this view type and select two views. And now we have a second viewport on the left. Click on the view on the left side, then go down to this box here, click on it, and select top view. Now we can see our composition from the top. This line you can see here is our object layer and label layer. So what we will need to do is to push back the object layer, which is the main map, back in Z space. To do this, click on the dropdown and then the transform dropdown. On the position properties, go to the third one, which is our Z position, and slide it to the right. You will notice that on the left viewport, our object layer is moving back. Keep sliding until it is almost at the edge. Now you will notice that our map on the right view looks like it has been scaled down. But no, we didn't scale down because that layer is far from the camera. It appears small to fix this. Scale it up until the map and the label match properly. And also, don't forget to check this box here for continuously rasterize so our map and label don't pixelate. The next thing we are going to do is to animate our camera, which is really easy. In some cases, you might need to create a null layer and parent your camera to it for a more robust and complex movement. But for this, we won't need that. So to animate the camera, you can use the Z position property to move the camera, or this controls on the left view, to move it forward by left clicking on the Z handle and dragging forward. So at the beginning of our timeline, set a keyframe for the position property, then go where you want your animation to stop, then move the camera forward. Another keyframe will be set automatically. Next, select both keyframes and make them easy ease. Next, go to your graph editor and click on the graph to bring up the handle and then adjust it like so it comes in fast, then slows down. After that, go back to the beginning of your timeline. Set a keyframe for X rotation, then move to the end and slide your X rotation property to 24 degrees. This will make the camera tilt as it is zooming into the map. Select both keyframes and make them easy ease. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.